Welcome, welcome everyone to Chess Whiz TV episode 111. You know what that means, guys? That means today is February 17th, 2015. It also means that 111, well, it doesn't mean it. I'm going to try, 111 is called a rep unit, uh, which is a number that is one repeated over and over, such as one which is repeated over and over, if you say it over and over, but also 11, 111, 1,111. These are epic numbers. And today's episode being 111 is epic. And I'm really excited to explode things in today's episode. We're going to play a variant of chess called Atomic Chess, and it should be called Your King Blows Up Chess. Every time you make a capture, everything on the board blows up. That's near that capture except pawns. Did that make sense? No, but it doesn't matter because you already know how to play atomic chess. So let's go play. Here we are on the chess website, lichess.org, lichess.org, atomic real time, one minute, four second increment, rated 1700, go, random color. So as you can see, uh, hiding behind my logo up here is the name of the website, lichess. L-I chess. I used to pronounce it lie chess until I realized that nobody else does. Then I called it li chess. Then I realized, no, they don't call it li chess either. So I asked the creator. I was like, creator, how do you pronounce it? And he typed back to me in his typing machine, li, as in live. I mean, lie is in live. He actually used L-I-V-E as the way to explain how to pronounce it. The problem is that can be pronounced live or live. So it could be lie chess or lit chess. The thing we know is it's not lit chess, except everybody who's lit calls it lit chess, which means we don't know what it is. So I just call it mm, chess, and it works just fine. But anyway, you browse there at .org, and you can play chess on the internet. It's really great. You don't have to install a virus. You just go with chess. So I've created a game seek here, Chess Viz. That's my name. Uh, my rating's huge, and here's the time. You get one minute to play all your moves and four seconds. Every time you make a move, you get another four seconds. So that's great because what I tend to do in games of chess, no one's taking the seat, so let's just keep talking. What I tend to do is uh, uh, run myself down to one second left because I'm more comfortable that way. And then I make a move and I get up to five seconds because it adds four. And then I just survive with no time on my clock. Every four seconds I make a move and I get four seconds. I like it that way. So one minute with zero time added. I played last episode in a bullet tournament like that with no increment on my clock. It was just one minute for the whole game. And I had a hard time because I used the style of slower at the start of the game while I talk about elephants. And then later in the game, I move quicker to keep up. Well, later in the game, I would just run out of time over and over. If you watch episode 110, you will see me running out of time. It was painful, painful. So this little increment really helps me to survive. I like it. And the four seconds mean we can talk about the game a little bit more. I'm comfortable with lower increments, three seconds, two seconds, even one second, uh, which is a lot of fun. But the four second means we can actually think about our moves. So I'm excited to actually play a game. Maybe sometime, maybe by tomorrow, we'll be playing one here. Um, Chrome is actually flickering. Maybe I did install a virus by mistake. What do we have going here? Updates are available to OBS, which stands for something open. Open broadcaster software. I can get the streamer services list. Would I like to download them now? No. Uh, that was great. Uh, let's bring the let's bring the chat in here to the why is everything flickering? My computer's now heating up. This is scary. Uh, but we're just gonna keep streaming, pretend like it's nothing's going wrong. Uh, you can see now the browser window flickering. See, see it's selected and then and then uh, I don't click anything, and then it deselects. Seems legit. You don't appear on the home page. I don't appear on the home page. That is not okay. Let's browse to twitch.tv such as the dashboard and be like Chess's TV episode 111. Boom Chess, leechess.org, update, and spam. Uh, so that's weird that I don't appear there. Hopefully, I'll appear very soon. Uh, hi, Chess Wiz. You don't appear? Yeah, you said that. Lit Chess. Ha ha, the descriptor is equally ambiguous. Ha ha ha. He's talking about the past. A lot of people do that. Name stream needs adjustment? Question mark, question mark. I don't know. Sticker.cc because Twitch uh, fails. That's what that says right there. Uh, come on, Twitch API, you can do it. Oh, well, nothing's happening. We're going to have to cancel the show because there's two problems today. Nobody wants to play chess and... Uh, I'm not even showing up here, so it doesn't matter. But that's pretty epic that uh, if we click here, we can see the stream itself. And we can see there's 13 people watching, even though I'm not anywhere. So you 13 people must be one of the 312 harders, and you got an email in your box. You're like, oh, an email. It says Chess Wiz is streaming Dominion. I'll go online. And it worked great uh, because here I am streaming nothing. So what I'm going to do is cancel the chat and... Uh, 
decrease my rating range down to 1450. What that means is that everybody can play me. I was requiring you to be rated over 1700, which is a pretty high rating, but that's because I'm pretty high right now. But 1450 includes the people who are unrated, uh, because when you're unrated, you get a rating of 1500, which is considered to be right in the middle. But if you've ever tried a new game and then tried it online, you're like, everybody online is so good. They are so good. 1500 is actually quite a good chess rating if you haven't played much chess. And we got an opponent here, Snippins, 1483 high. We should probably warn him, uh, you're on camera. Uh, well, let's do the double mouth face where it's like happy and super happy at the same time. Um, and I'll open with e4 just to be generous. Although, um, in effect, it's also a strong move in my opinion. Tvitch, oh, he's not even going to move. Tvitch, Tvitch, chess race. Your rating is high, colon, V. Now, this is an interesting face. I think he, it's just a colon and a nose. He's facing this way. He's like, hmm. And, uh, and I got his mouth. As you can see, I'm happy, and I have his mouth. Or is that my chin? Better lay off the pie. He doesn't want to move because my rating is so high. That's pretty reasonable. Oh, his mouths are back, colon, right square bracket, right square bracket. We are definitely, definitely getting inventive here. Let's make some Abraham Lincoln here. So we've got the we've got the uh, the top part of the top hat. Then we need the this keyboard makes it so hard. Where's the pipe? Um, I don't even know if I where's the pipe. There it is. Uh, um, okay, Lincoln is frowning. You know why? Because he's dead. There's his beard. Where's his beard? Oh, this is so hard. Great, there we go, Abraham Lincoln in the chess game. So here we go, atomic chess. So every time there's a capture, um, everything blows up. For example, that was a capture right there. Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. Pawn capture here. So this was the explosion square right here, which means everything in this range blows up except for pawns. Now pawns is equals this thing, it's a pawn. So that means that I'm okay there, specifically. I'm almost out of time because I've been blabbing instead of moving. But this is actually way better than it looks. For you chess players, you're like, why didn't you move knight f3? That makes a lot more sense. But when the bishop comes down and pins it, I can't move the knight. It's not like, oh, it's pinned to my queen. It's like, you're pinned to my explosion. Because bishop takes queen will blow up everything here, including my king. And that's generally how you win, is just blow up near his king and he's gone. So that's how I'm going to win, actually. is just bring up my knights until his king blows up. Pawns are really strong in atomic chess. You might think, oh, they're just a pawn. The thing about pawns is they uh, don't, as I said, blow up when everything does. And so as a result, as a result, you can make walls out of them. And I think I can get a pretty good attack here. If I take f7, I win. He blows up. Now I move here. Now he has to play e6. Now I play here, and then when he takes me, his knight blows up, and, and his queen. So this is just so much fun. So it's not very much like chess, as you can see, who would play queen h5, queen e5, queen c7, and just, you know, blow themselves up. Only a player who is not really playing chess, well, that's me. So that's why I went ahead and did that. There's not a lot left on the board, but there is an advantage for me. This is to keep his knight from coming in anywhere awesome, because knights that come down are very dangerous. That's why he's been capturing my knights. Uh, I'll just castle here. So I think I'm ahead by one unit. Uh, we each have seven pawns, knight, bishop. I have an extra bishop. Rooks are equal. So with the extra bishop, I should be able to win. But it's not as big of an advantage as you'd think to have an extra bishop. In chess, extra bishop equals extra win. You just win with your bishop. Just trade, 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 and checkmate it with your bishop. OK, kind of like that. Um, but in atomic chess, you just win because you have one more thing. Even having an extra pawn is good enough because he can't take it without blowing himself up. So your pawn just starts going down the board, you know, like, I'm going to queen my pawn, here I come. He can't take it with anything without blying and dying and other things. So pawns are just as strong as anything. You're on homepage now, Chess Wiz. According to owner car, someone probably woke him up. He's like, get up, owner car. Chess Wiz is not streaming properly. This is dangerous now. I don't like the way his knight comes in here. Oh, I should have just taken this pawn. Wait, I can do it next. Watch. 
Watch this. Oh, you're out of time here. I'm going to give you some time. Oh, watch your clock. Watch your, I'll just do your to save time. Clock. And now here. Oh, your night blows. Now I got uh, two pieces with one because I got a pawn. And now I'm ahead two things. So that's, that's even more than one thing. Uh, based on the recent math I did. So I think I'll be able to win easily. I just have to be careful that his rooks do not penetrate this position. Because if his rook comes in this area, he'll get at least a draw by checking me forever, perhaps worse. So it's all about getting the rooks in here. Now my rooks are a little quicker than his. Because I've got mine ready to go. Boom! I don't mind trades since I'm ahead two things. He's new to this thing. So I'll take this file again. Okay, I'll blow that up with my bishop. No. A take back proposition has been sent. No, because I'm almost out of time. I would normally do it, decline. But since I have 6.9 seconds, which was 2.9, I don't want to run out of time while I give you take backs. So stay near that pawn so I can capture it and blow up your king at the same time. That'd be good. Rate, please. Um, now I actually want to just blow up his king. It's really hard to win even with this advantage if his king gets near my king because you can actually move your king right next to the opponent's king and be like, I love you, king. Stay near me. I'll hug you for the rest of my life. This is, oh, I should have just taken this pawn and blow him up. It's really hard because when you capture him, it blows up your king too because it's right there. And so you actually don't get to capture him. It's a problem. I think I have a win this way. Boom! Bye bye, King. GG. That was fun. Thanks for playing Snippins. Um, um, I can't go with the rematch because I'm going to go play someone else, but watch the stream or don't. You must choose. Ha ha ha. I know I'm going to leave. Uh, just leave him with that Exist existential question. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. It's a question. Here I am live. Boom chess is the name of the episode. Why? Why is that the name of the episode? Boom. Your king is going to go boom on Chess with TV. Also, it's episode number 111. For those of you just tuning in, I have to, I have to, I have to mention that that is called a rep unit uh, because mathematicians are not creative. So they just used repetitious and shortened that to rep. And then they took unitatious and shortened that to unit. Numbers that are made of only ones are called rep units. Now you know, and which is kind of cool, actually. So this is the rep unit episode. And in honor of that, I'm going to blow things up. I think queen f6 here, um, and then bishop d3, and then I'm like, oh, no. So maybe f6, but then bishop d3, and I'm like, oh. It's, it's pretty dangerous, but I'll just try f6. So strong. This is not, this is not... Uh, like chess, by the way. You would think, oh, black plays e6, f6. What a strong fortress for his pieces. No, not even close. So his knight's going to hop over here and then hop over here, right? Is that what's going to happen? I need a counterattack. That looks pretty strong, right? Now if he moves his knight, I take this pawn, blow up his king. So that knight is actually pinned, even though it doesn't look very pinned. High proof 07, high, high. Amazing how well Mr. Wiz keeps his cool at below 10 seconds, according to Ev Roppy. I keep my cool at below 10 milliseconds, Ev. I just have to get there first. It's so difficult, you know. And then he says he even warned his opponent with six seconds on the clock. Oh, such a gentleman this is. I saw this humorous thing. You know, there's a, there's a saying going around the internet these days. It's called gentleman. They say, you are a gentleman and a scholar. Perhaps that's a little bit older. And they say, this is gentleman. I don't know, but I saw this humorous thing. It said, this is mental... Jen, and I liked it so much I just told you that. Otherwise, I would not even have told you. Uh, it didn't make any sense to me, but most things don't make sense, and it's better that way. If you understand, you probably get better. Probably better. Uh, this is actually great for me. Better get a new career because Bishop D three is strong in most attacking ways for him. But then I just take the knight and boo. Well, actually, just boom to the bishop. Boo. Right here, I'm spelling out the word boom on that bishop. So he can't play bishop d3 after all. So that blocks that. This is going to be pretty strong. Yep, yep. Because here, it's strong because of here. Takes f2, blow up the king. Guys, you can play atomic chess on echess.org right here at this website. Let me hide my, my awesomeness again. Oops, wrong awesomeness. There we go. Oh, he escapes. Oh, you're so good. I'll blow this up, which is your queen. Seems appetizing to blow up your queen. 
Now I'll play here. Which offers to capture and take your knight, uh, which I will now play here. Uh, this is so hard. If you take my bishop, oh no, I lose my queen. No, that was dumb of me. It's hard to play this game. I'll now capture this, which blows up your bishop. <laughs> oh, this is so difficult. Um, what's going to happen next? His king is out in the open. If he captures, I'm going to castle. Better castle anyway, just to get out of the way. I have to castle, I guess. It's very dangerous. So now g6 and h6 are going to help protect my king. You want to keep things one square away from your king. Do not, under any circumstances, defend with things near your king because when they get captured, your king blows up. But one square away, you know, like this area right here, very, very good. Uh, whoops, bye bye, Rook. Thibault made an error. By the way, by the way, guys, this guy I'm playing right here, Thibault, he's the creator of this website. So if you like, oh, he still takes it and blows up three things. That's disappointing. You're going to do that? I should have played rookie eight. He doesn't. Okay, good. I got away. Now he'll only blow up two things. If you like this website, you like playing chess on the internet, you should you should thank him. He actually likes to be thanked. You would think a man who creates a website like this would be way too busy to be thanked, but no, he has time for you uh, occasionally. So if you write a message in the forums, you're just like, Dear Thibault, and you should pronounce it that way, by the way, then and thank you for the chess internet. He'll be like, you're welcome. That's the kind of scholar he is. Or should I say, mental gen. Boom! GG. At least I got your rook too. I could have last moved just taken that pawn. Boom! And it would have blown up your king while it was on this square. But I wanted to blow up your... Actually, it would have it would have hit your rook anyway. I don't know what I'm saying, but at least I won. At least I won. I was streaming Dominion this weekend, which is a card game, and it was rough. I mean, I just streamed myself losing over and over. Probably because the guy's rating was 5,500, which you can't even imagine. So he just, he just won over and over. Um... So it's a lot better to come on actual chess with TV and win. It's it's very pleasant. Uh, let's play. He just says GG. So it's just like a real chess player. He's like a real chess player, guys. Let's play again. And if he joins again, I won't even complain. I'll just play him again because I love uh, winning. Um, who invented this kind of chess? Asks Litkartier. Some dude in the 1980s answers, answers the question by his friend Roby. I think... It was invented prior to now, so I can tell you with some confidence it was invented prior to 2015. Uh, beyond that, I must say, this is boring. No one is joining my game again. Hmm. Oh, I've received a challenge. That's interesting. However, some dubious things about this challenge. His rating is 1500. He has not played much chess. Uh, a casual, which means it's not a rated game, so he's still not going to have played much chess. Two minutes and two seconds added. Why would he do that instead of 1-4, as is obviously my preference right here on my electronic device, my liquid crystal display. That's an LCD monitor. Atomic? He does want to play Atomic. I simply must X him. I want to play rated. I want to play rated. Challenge me rated games so I can take your rating points and not waste my time. Do you think I'm just here for you? Uh, actually, I'm just here for you. Welcome to Chess with TV, episode 111. I'm here for you. And also chess, but apparently chess isn't really happening. We're just sitting here on the board waiting. So it's mostly for you. What you don't see is a, is a navigational menu up here. Watch, watch what happens when I click this, though. Watch this. Bam! Oh, nothing happened. Watch. Now I click this. Boom! Yeah. So now you can see what I've got going here. I've got my... I'm just going to give you a little tour of the real chess with tea. Over here in this tab is my countdown. I created this HTML web page for myself with a counter in it because I'm a programmer and I just... It should probably say, let's roll or something like that instead of zero, 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 zero. And then over here uh, is the same as over here. Apparently I have two tabs. And over here, 3,500 players who won't play chess with me right now. Whoops, I deleted my seat. Oh! I got, a, I got a better challenge. I got a challenge from the professor himself. He put two O's in his name because he's that professory. Uh, let's go back to the real view. Enough behind the scenes. Let's go back to in front of the scenes. Oh, this is more like it. No, it's not. This is more like it. Okay. I like playing E4 these days because pawns are epic. Most players, and by that I mean everyone, starts with knight F3 because you can then play knight G5 and then you can play knight takes F7. Checkmate. And that's what people like to do. Um, but I, I like to try to use my phone. Let's make up something new. Let's see how it goes.
By the way, guys, if you ever have any questions ever, you can simply go to the internet and be like, internet, what is the answer to this question? And the internet knows the answer. Unless it's where did I leave my car keys? That would be the best Google feature ever because Google pretty much doesn't know. I'm like, where did I leave my? And it's like, do you mean where did you leave your car keys? And I'm like, yes. And then it doesn't tell me. It's pretty bad. <clears throat> That's, that's one thing they still haven't added. All the things they can do, they can't even find my car keys. It's lame. Night out, E5 maybe. You know, there's some cool attacking possibilities here. Maybe I should have just started with knight of three and just checkmated him because these pawns are in the way. Knight takes queen, queen. They're like, what about that stuff I did last time? I'll do it again. Yeah. I'm just going to give up my knight here for nothing. He has to take it, but then I'm like, check. And danger... Will Robinson. I don't know what that's from. Probably something with Will Robinson in it. Danger. Danger zone. That's from Archer, which I don't know anything about either. But I'll blow up all his things just like that other game. Oh, you better take me. Otherwise, you won't lose your knight and bishop and queen at the same time. So better take me right now. There might have been a better move, but this is so fun. Oh, Adnarak with the clever pun. Where did I leave my Clarkies? Clarkie, James Clark. I think that's his name. J. J. Clark for short. Um, he's a very famous moderator at this website. I mean, one of the most famous. If you measure the famousness of various moderators, he up, up at the top of the chart under very famous. So definitely worthy of a pun. <clears throat> Too bad he's not actually watching the stream that would be even better because then he could enjoy the pun too instead of all of you guys enjoying the pun let's you know i'm curious right now and since this is my stream i can just do this i'm curious how many people are watching because sometimes i'm like nobody's watching well, everybody's watching so let's find out how many people are watching 35 people i can't even imagine getting in front of 35 people and playing atomic chess it's a good thing you guys are actually not in this room with me otherwise it would really smell in here <sighs> how do i checkmate him now There's some danger, like take rook d8, knight out. Oh, rook d1, I'm checkmated. Yeah, I have to be careful. Oh, start with this check. Oh, it looks like he's in big trouble now. This looks very strong. Oh, Clarky is online. Look at this. Clarky himself, the famous, famous moderator. Have you seen him moderate? He's like, hi yeah, I look forward to moderating you soon. Um, that's a reference to Ask a Ninja, and you should just Google that right like this. Ask a Ninja. You should select that those those characters. I think they're ASCII, but they might be UTF-8. You should select them and then put them in here after the show. Wait for Chess with TV to be over. After that, then you should be like searching for Ask a Ninja, and you can find out what that's all about. Boom to your king. Boom, boom, boom. I checkmated him with a bishop. That's how amazing Atomic Chess is. That was pretty fun. Um, let's just... Uh, oh, someone's challenging me. White Green Blue wants to play a rated game. Okay, White Green, I know you're actually a viewer, and you're hiding behind a new account. Um, he has to play 28 games of classical chess, though, so if this is a new account, this is a snoozer of an account. 28? Do you realize how long it takes to take to play 28 classical games? Classical? You know what that means? Um, let's find out. Let's start with Knight of 3 like all the cool guys do. Uh, he's been playing classical chess since February 11th, and it's now February 17th. That's a week. A week of chess. Uh, that's a lot. Um, E3 is pretty strong. And then I'll just blow up his king. Watch how fast this attack goes. It's so fast. It's not even going to be February 24th by the time his king blows up. Yep, he's dead. Dead now. You're dead. Dead. Dead meat. Very dead. V dead. Dead. Um, do I... Do I knight e5 and then boom and then queen f3 and then boom and then bishop d3 and then oh, bishop g6 checkmate. Yep, I think that's what I do. I think that's a force checkmate. 95, he has to take. Well, yeah, because if he doesn't, I take this with boom and if he moves it, then 97, I take the bishop with boom and boom, boom, and he's gone. So knight takes and it's gone. Bishop d3, no, start with queen f3 and then I'm like, oh, take the bishop. So knight f6, block, that's the only way. Then bishop d3, threatening bishop g6. When he takes it, blows up his knight, but queen takes bishop checkmate. So bishop d3, what does he play? I don't know. I don't even want to look that far ahead. That's his job. I'll just play the attacking moves. Opponent here is going to play the defensive moves. I don't have to make those up. That's way harder anyway. The attacking moves are easy. Here's a free knight. Your turn. Drink some kidney water. 
Mm. Oh, another pun. The puns are popping out in the chat. We got Mata Keith saying the whiz. Wisdom of chess. That's a reference to urination. Wisdom of chess. If only there were actually wisdom on this show. Oh, oh, bishop trapped. Now, I should say white, green, blue, that all I really want is your bishop. So it's really unfortunate that your king is here too. Oh, because I just wanted to take that bishop. Sorry. <clears throat> GG. Stands for good game. It's been GG for a long time. We should probably expand it. But for now, it's GG. We're going to play again where I have the black pieces, which is a lot more fair. E3, E6. Because whoever's white wins in this game, they just move first and boom. You know what I mean. So it's not fair. Oh, queen h5. I have to block here otherwise. Boom. So what is he going to do now? You know, I think I can keep him away by just moving all my pawns up one square closer and closer and closer and closer. Uh, actually, just one square. Uh, I think I can defend. I mean, I'll just keep moving all of these until they're all one square, and then I'll be perfectly safe. Pawns are so strong, guys. Listen to me. Pawns are strong in atomic chess because they can't be captured by anything without whatever that thing is terminating its life. So basically, they're like armored vehicles with bombs in them. That's what they're like. In fact, they actually are armored vehicles with bombs in them. They're not just like that. If you look really close to get your magnifying glasses out, you can see the bombs inside there. And the vehicle parts, too. It's all in there. So. Yeah, you're blowing yourself up. Great plan. Are you going to play queen b7 and just blow up all this stuff? I bet you're not. I bet you're just going to lose when I play knight here. Then... Knight in here and take one of these. Oh, yeah. I don't think he can actually prevent checkmate on one of these two squares uh, because the knight can go either of these two ways. And, for example, let's say I go this way to g4. Then he's totally toast because the to – not just partially toast because this pawn can't move. And then I take it. So he's probably going to lose at least his queen, maybe more. Maybe if I go this way. No, if I go this way. Ah, see, knight – B5, knight, C7, kind of dangerous. Can worry about that too. Maybe I should just pin this thing. Yeah, we saw the other game how strong that was. Very strong. Uh, the knight can't move. Blow up his king. Giant chess wiz did appear on the screen. Thank you, Zamatar. PS3. I always wonder if you're like, PS, like, you know, postscript. Like, here's a message for you after my message. Or if you're just like, PlayStation 3, which is now old because there's a PlayStation 4. By the time you watch this on YouTube, I'm sure the PS6 is going to be out. So now, knight here. Yes, look at that attack. Only in atomic do you see a knight and a bishop checkmating. Uh, especially if you've not moved anything here. Like, none of this stuff has even moved. Look at that. I've drew an oval around the unmoving pieces. And yet I'm still winning. If he takes my knight, boom. He, not, only his queen, not only does his queen blow up, but I also take right here, blow up his king. Okay, is he safe now? Did you survive the wondrous attack of the chess whiz? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you did, saw so castle. Oh, threatening checkmate. How often do you get to castle and threaten checkmate at the same time? Pretty often in atomic chess, happens a lot. We got an LOL from Professor. He says, chaplain underscore C law. Oh, oh, it's this guy's name. What are you drinking? Definitely not water. Actually, that's right. <clears throat> this is excrement from kidney. You can see, especially colored. Mm. Mm. Call it kidney water for short. Also kidney water for long. All you programmer guys are going to be like, oh, I get it. Short, that's four bytes, right? Nope, shorts are eight bytes now. If you want four bytes, you have to use a... Maybe you can. Oh, are you really doing that? You really? Guys, there's a short four bytes and an, and an int is... No. Shorts are 8 bytes, right? You guys know this. You're all programmers, uh, I assume. Okay, so now I take this, which blows up everything up in here, revealing a discovered checkmate. Then, after doing that, I come over here, threatening a checkmate with queen f2. You can't take it or you blow up. Now here, and here comes checkmate. Wow, so strong. Very strong. 
Uh, this looks checkmate. Checkmate! You know, this game is so crazy, you don't even need pieces. You just throw your queen upon them. Love me, I might got that. Oh, checkmate. Right? He can't take it or his king blows up. And it actually just says checkmate. It doesn't say, what move would you like to make? King takes queen, boom. Or rook takes queen, boom. Your choice. It's just like game over. Don't even move. I got this. Checkmate. <clears throat> great. I win. Uh, that was great. You know, guys, I haven't lost a game yet on this stream. This is more like it. I love streaming Atomic Chess because in Atomic Chess, Chess Wiz always wins. What a great outcome. I should become a Chess Atomic Chess Grandmaster. They can call me a Tatama Master and I can go travel the world blowing things up um, like a terrorist. Isn't that what they do? I don't know. Here's a new opponent to lose. This is great. <clears throat> Evropi prefers longs. Everybody likes longs. I like ints because it's one character fewer to type. So I'm like Int. No, really, I am. Who uses longs anymore? Because everything is 32 bit except for the 64 bit ones. So it doesn't make a difference. Longs are 32 bits and ints are 32 bits. It doesn't matter whether you use ints or longs. It's my turn, so I'm going to win. As you can see, my knight is coming up first. Hop, hop, hop. Up and away. How will you even not get checkmated here? My knight is already near you. And now it's even nearer you. So near. So you. Really. Get out. Some kind of octopus has grown, joined the chat. Literally. Should I take that queen? There's always a funny move when you're like, oh, queen attacking queen. But if I take him, then it's his turn. So I move something like this. Looks dumb, because it is. But then when he takes me... It's my turn, so it saves me a move. But in this specific position, I'm doing it! Yes! Queen g4! Only an atomic chess player, Grandmaster, would find a move like that. <clears throat> Danger everywhere. Uh oh. Oh, running out of time. Better go to the spice store and buy some more time. Hmm, check. And boom. Is this the best I have? Just take that? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, double int and long. Unsigned int are the usual suspects, according to Clarky Rubber. Oh, I think he's in trouble now with that move. Oh, fleeing, this will not work. Check, look at this. Oh, you can't take me. Oh, oh, big trouble. He should have played bishop e6 because it's blocking and it's far enough away from the king. I can't take you without blowing myself up. But now I blow up like five things at once. If you count myself. If you count the suicide bomber, which is like always there in this in this game. It's like, oh, you captured some suicide bomber. Well, then that's five things captured in one move. Pretty epic. Our Devon 74 wants to play again. I will grant him that, but I will warn him, you're being a spied. A spied. That is so much better than just being spied. Um, being a spied. E4. E6. Uh, and twitch.tv. Twitch. Twitch. I can't spell that. Twitch. 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 There's so many consonants in there. Chest is. And now he's like, huh? Because he doesn't speak any languages. What? Oh, he does. Great. <clears throat> He's sending me to a tournament. I'd love to click this because I like viruses, so I click links randomly. Now I'll bring out my... What should I bring out next? This is so fun, just bringing things out. B5! This is actually a really good move, just believe me. It's the Moss Arena, and they're waiting for someone. Wow, I could play two-minute atomic rated tournament for 25 minutes. I don't have time for that, unfortunately. The episode ends at the top of the hour, which is pretty soon. Too bad we had a late start. It's too bad. Bad luck for you. We got a late start. Move by night, maybe. I'm interested in here. Takes queen h4, check. g3, queen e4, bishop e3 forced. I don't have time. Where are you? says. 
Let's do that. Seems good. <laughs> Where are you? Uh, check. That's such a difficult question. Where are you? I have to go here. <clears throat> Got some time back, that's good, I needed that. Let's try my luck with some queen attacks. I don't even know what to say. Where are you? There's so many so many potential answers. Yeah, so now check. Just keep wiggling till I get in there. Just keep going back and forth, you know? Forth, back, forth, back. Oh, you think you escaped? Maybe you did. This is tricky for him, don't you think? I think it's tricky. Let's say he plays knight e2. That could be interesting. Then when I take it, everything blows up at once. It's not like they blow up one at a time. They all blow up at the same time. Let's go here. This is very, very, very deadly. I take it with bishop blowing up three things and opening up a discovered check, 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 checkmate. So this is going to be, uh-oh, uh-oh, he's threatening checkmate to me, so I have to play here. Okay, I think I'm okay now. Everything well defended in atomic chess. This is such a strong position. Now regular chess, not so strong. But check this out. Check. I have to be so quick because queen d8 would just destroy me. Check. What? I thought I had a check me here. I guess I'll take that. That should make me safe for now. <clears throat> I'll answer that. I am here. Blow those up. Okay, now I've got a checkmate. Whew, that was close. Almost didn't, but I do. I'm reading the chat now. Oh, I'm going to check again. Uh, he resigns. I can't even do that. So, guys, there's lots of discussion now. We were talking about longs and shorts. The long and the short of it is, are there more programmers on chess? Yes, because there's more programmers who play chess. I don't know why, though. Open source aspect does drop programmers, uh, not to mention... Oh yeah, there's a novel stack on this website, MongoDB and Scala, and most recently, Mithril.js. Guys, you can't even pronounce that. You're just like, mm -hmm. but this says Mithril.js. It's named after that fancy stuff that that um, Frodo had on, right? I think it was Frodo. I think they finished call. Doesn't speak any languages. Oh, that's insulting. We have an above average amount of people on the site from work. Most people want, want to get real work done. That's exactly true. In fact, I'm at work too. Don't tell anyone. Uh, three check today, please, says eat chips. Well, eat chips, that's very kind of you to say please. Very kind. Um, tricky to rock a rhyme. That's right on time. So true. Who are you? Where are you? Um, I'll just throw that in there because it's so such an open-ended question. Basically, there is... No closed end on that. So I'm going to play a three checks chess game at the request of Eat Chips because he said, please, very, very, very polite person. I think it's like the most polite person I've ever met. Do you type please on the internet? I mean, at most, at most, you're like PLZ or PLS. Pulls, do it, pulls, right? This guy typed out the entire word, including the A. Not everyone would do that. I think he deserves some three checks chess for that. And I've been challenged to a blitz game. Sorry, I don't know what that is. I, is that like chess? I've never heard of that. I'm busy with three checks chess. Of course, no one wants to play that either now. And now, and now, a response from each chips. Look at this response, guys. This is not like, thank you. This guy is, This. look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six exclamation marks. He takes the time to thank. He like he was like, okay, let me get my calendar up. Oh look, from one o'clock to one fifteen, I'll be pressing shift one in order to thank Chess Whiz. One 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 one. Okay, that's done. Now what's for lunch? Seriously, man, this guy took time out of his day to thank me with a lot of exclamation marks. Unfortunately, no one else wants to play three checks chess. You could play against yourself, but it's less fun because you always lose, except when you draw. So. We're going to wait for an opponent, but I guess we don't have one, so let's uh, widen the requirements. Now make it so that even monkeys can play, and heads of cabbage, and heads of state. You can all play against me. I am in your imagination. Oh, interesting question from Maraki. Did you attend acting class? Did you attend acting class? How do you parse this? 
Did you attend acting class? No, I skipped class. Whiz, that's me. Did you attend acting class? What's acting class? Let's find out. Acting class. The internet can tell me. Oh, chess, never mind. Uh, three checks chess against Matricula 96. Let's do this. Now, three checks chess, guys. Watch out. Now, if you get checked three times, it's over. I mean, it's not even chess, it's just check. That's all it is. So it's going to be. Maybe I'll check all the time. Let's see if we can not get checked three times. <clears throat> I forget how to play this, so I'll just move things until things go well. The answer to your question, Mayor, is no. I did not attend acting class. What I did was I skipped it. I signed up. And then I was like, oh, ha ha, I'm skipping class. Oh, really? I, I did. I did. Believe me. Just believe me. This is so not atomic. I want to blow things up. How do I... Uh, what do I do? Castle, I guess? Okay, castle. Three checks chess is like atomic because you try to keep your king really safe, otherwise you die instantly. However, there's also some differences. Uh, you have to check the guy, not just get near him before he dies in an explosion of flames. So it's pretty <clears throat> similar, but some differences. So you have to wrap your mind around that, then you can get going. Adner Axe says, please, can we get an after so special? And look how many E's. He's like copying the other guy. Oh, he puts exclamation marks in. That's nothing. You should see my E key. 100 words per minute. Actually, one word per minute, but it's 100 letters per minute. And the word is made of E's. Entirely E's. It's like E. But look what happens when I do that. E. Oh, that's F. Not good enough. That's pretty weird. Oh yeah, my keyboard layout. By the way, I moved E to F. That's the that's the that's the, that's 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 how. Look at this. Colmac.com. That's how I can type so fast, guys. Look at this keyboard layout. You think E is here? Nope. Nope. Nice try. F. You would think this would be QWERTY, right? No. Look at your keyboard, guys. It says QWERTY on there, unless you're me, and it says So that's actually the F key. That's what's going on. Guys, I use this keyboard layout. That's why I'm so epic. You use this keyboard layout. You could be epic. Also, you wouldn't be able to type uh, at all. So that's the downside. <laughs> but you'd be epic. Really epic. I mean, pretty much, pretty much completely epic. Not even just partially. So, so you should do that. C O L E. M-A-K up here, uh, Google that, be like, oh, I can install this and never type again. You can, it's pretty fun. It took me uh, a while to learn, <laughs> but if you really wanna know, I am a keyboard layout aficionado, and I learned that word uh, late in life. <clears throat> First I learned QWERTY, because everybody has to, and then I learned Dvorak, which everybody learns because they're like, what should I type QWERTY so bad? And then they're like, wait, there's even more. Nobody says that. They stop with Dvorak. But you know that language, that layout? I'm running out of time. But there's an increment, so that's okay. Uh, it's called Dvorak. Most people are like, Dvorak, because they don't know it's Dvorak. Um, that layout has a problem with it, obviously. What's the problem? I is not, you have to move your finger over. This is looking pretty good for me, right? And your eye isn't underneath your, your fingers. Instead, it's like way over there. And they put you. And also Y is like your ring finger. I'm typing Y all the time, and my ring finger just wore out. So I um, stopped using that language. Actually, I continued to use it. And then I switched to a Renzito, which nobody uses. And that was another layout to learn. After you learn a couple of keyboard layouts, your brain says, I give up, and you just forget everything you know. Also, you get better at learning newer ones. So you can just keep learning and learning and learning. So then I was like, let's learn more. And I learned Colmag. And that's my favorite one, guys, because the ZXCV are down here where they ought to be. So when you're like copy and paste, it's where it belongs. Control A for select all. Uh, undo. Cup. I have to undo a lot. I mean, I'm always pressing Control Z. So uh, when I use Colmag, it's right there where it should be. Uh, so that's the one I recommend for new people and old people, young people and smart people. You should all use that if you want to drive yourself crazy. Otherwise, just keep using what you're using. I think I'm going for three checks here, so I'll just keep maneuvering my queen. Come on. It's a pretty good pawn structure, right? Look at these holes in his position. But I'm not checking him yet. It's annoying. <clears throat> Are things falling apart? No, things are pretty much still held together. Don't have any epic checks though. Need three of them and I don't have any. Losing my 
things. Okay, that was one check, so be careful. That's his only one, though. That's one. He has one check. Be very careful. I've got to focus on the game now. I can't be ranting about computer keyboard layouts when I've got check is on the line. Never start a land war in Asia. Check. That's one. And I'll capture here. So this is going to destroy his queen. Totally destroy it. And the point of that is he only has two checks now. This has got a second one if he throws away his rook. The third one will never come. Oh, you're running out of time, Matricola. Here's some time. Oh. Uh-oh. This could work. Oh, this is so hard. This is like a diamond. It's really hard. <laughs> Gave up my knight in order to check him twice more. Uh, one more check. Oh, this guy has brains. He has the brains of a human. I cannot even beat him. I still have only checked him one. And he says I missed the easy winning move. Foo! Wow, we typed my thoughts exactly right there on the screen. I think I lose. Oh, no. Two? Yes! Yes! He messed up. Guys, he seriously messed up. Look, I get out of check now. Oh, you can never check me. Bishops can't move onto white squares once they're on black. That's the problem with bishops. So now I maneuver and check him twice, and I win. Wow, that was close. He messed up. He could have won, and he gave up his rook, which made me more ahead than behind. So let's just kind of maneuver around here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no, I'm going to lose. Push. What? I can't believe it. I'm out of time. I can't believe it. Run out of time now! Run out of time now! Yes! I survived. <laughs> There's two checks for you. Two checks! Here comes the third check! Check! Three checks! <sighs> That was close and he wants to play again. I think I'll decline that invitation unless I like losing. Let's analyze that game. Analyze. <clears throat> That's what I meant to say. Um, so here his win was not bishop d4. It was pawn up. And there's nothing I can do to prevent push and gives him a third check and he wins. Wow. Wow. I'm so glad my opponent had not enough time to find that move. Uh, because after this I do win by playing there and the pawn cannot, cannot advance. Let's rewind a little bit more. So in this position, he thought, I'll throw away my rook. That'll be great. I was so glad he did. His move was uh, in this position. He threw away his rook and for a second check. Mistake. Uh, but it wasn't very hard for him to win. All he had to do was push these two pawns, and then he'd have a bishop searing through here like a hot iron. Also like sears. And then and then he could check any number of times he wants. If we're playing 10 checks chess, he'd be like, oh, I win. Basically, I was in trouble. And then let's see what move I missed, because he said I have missed the fourth win right here. So there's one check. So where's the easy win? Oh. See, I saw this move for the second check, but I can't get the third one. And meanwhile, he's threatening this check here, which is his second, but he'll easily pick up a third right afterward. So, guys, do any of you in chat, here's the chat, and they're like, oh, in the chat. He had a win there with rookie eight check, didn't he? Um, no, actually, he didn't have, oh, he thought he only had one check left. Oh, yeah. The counter is up here in the corner, check's given, but it's so tiny. I mean, it's like the size, it's the size of this, very tiny. He didn't have rookie eight check. Rookie eight check would lose here um, because I take it. Um, boom. And then that's just two checks also. And then I maneuver around until I get more checks. But I wonder if I have... Maybe queen here would win. Uh, this is my first check at the time. But maybe queen f1, right? One check. And he takes with rook. Two checks. And he takes the queen. And I'm like, no. Out of checks. It's very difficult. I don't think queen f1 works. <laughs> Amazing. Clarky says, I am typing now in Colmec. If that's true... If that's true, what? 
good. Then try typing that in Colmac. Does that work? D Y Y S. D Y Y S. Yeah, what you should do, Clarky, is um, this is pretty cool, guys. You can like encode messages um, by switching your keyboard layout to uh, one and then typing as if you're in the other, and it types a bunch of goggly goop. Gook. <laughs> this stuff right here is what it types. And then, and then, all you chess players, don't leave yet. I'm about to tell you what's pretty cool. And then, here's what happens. You send it to your other guy. In this case, I send it to Clarky. And then he changes his layout to the opposite of what I did. In this case, Clarky, you should switch to QWERTY and then type that as if it's Colmac, okay? And then it will decode the message. It actually transforms because you press what should be D and it comes out as a G instead. I'll give you a hint. The first letter is G. So if you can get the right layout combined with the right typing, so you're going to have to be like, what? What? And then you can decode that message. So good luck. That's your code of the day. See if you can figure out what that actually says. Yeah, for you, those of you who are asking, I do use this keyboard layout. It is at colmac.com. That's how you spell it. And if you switch to it you'll drive yourself crazy but it's also a lot of fun <clears throat> i've been using it for about five years and i've tried four different major keyboard layouts and i've decided on it as the best one so i i recommend it anyway that was a lot of fun i love boom chess really enjoyed spending that hour with you hopefully next episode will be as fun as this episode i think it will saturday at 4 p.m gmt uh, and tuesday at 4 p.m gmt are our current streaming times this being tuesday i will see you next time now there's also a YouTube channel. Uh, just search for ChessWiz. Don't forget the H in Wiz. And then you can find previous episodes. You might want to do that because, well, if I'm going off air right now, what are you going to do with your life? Watch previous episodes. This has been ChessWiz TV. Thanks for watching.